First, take out of all items from the package. The package include monitor, camera, DC power cord, bracket, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna, T-taps and screws. Pick up the monitor. Install the antenna on the monitor. Pick up the bracket. Align the two parts and press them in. Pull up the buckle. Align the magnetic bracket with the round hole on the back of the monitor and put it on. Tear off the bottom protective film. You can place it where you want. Pull down the buckle to fix. Pick up the camera. Tear off the protective film on the camera. You can install the camera on the license plate. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Follow my operation. Connect the power cord to the camera. Connect another power cord to the monitor. Pick up the green connector. Plus is positive, minus is negative. Use a screw to loosen the screw. Now merge the two red wires. Then merge the two black wires. Insert the merged red wire into the positive, plus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Insert the merged black wire into the minus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Please note, do not make the positive and negative wires touched. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the screen appear no signal. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The image appear on the screen. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the pair countdown. The image appears on the monitor. The pairing is successful. Press the UP key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the UP key again to switch to the split mode. Press the UP key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. Press the down key when the H appear on the screen. Press the up key to adjust the height of the guidelines. Press the down key when the W appear on the screen. Press the up key to adjust the width of the guidelines. Press the down key when the M appear on the screen. Press the up key to move the guidelines left and right. Press the down key to turn off the guidelines. Press the down key to turn on the guidelines. The H appear on the screen. Press the M key to quit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the picture. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to select the parameter you want to adjust. Like my way. Press the M key to select brightness. The icon turns red to indicate selection. Press the up or down key to adjust brightness. Press the M key to confirm. After 5 seconds, the system will automatically exit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the mirror flip. Press the menu key to confirm. There are 4 modes. Normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up or down key to switch image mode you want. Press the menu key to confirm. After 5 seconds, the system will automatically exit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the system. Press the menu key to confirm. 
The SCANTIME is to set the channel switching time when automatic scanning is turned on. Press the up or down key to switch to the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn on the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. After 5 seconds, the system will automatically exit the menu mode. When scan appears on the screen, the monitor will automatically switch the camera channel. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the system. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch to the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn off the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. After 5 seconds, the system will automatically exit the menu mode. The monitor will not show scan. The monitor will not automatically switch camera channels. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.